A Registered Education Savings Plan, or RESP, is widely recognized by Canadians as the number one way to save for a child's education. But did you know that a lot of parents or grandparents are choosing additional ways to invest as well? In other words, they're using the RESP as the foundation for education savings, but complementing it by another type of investment vehicle. Why would they be doing this? Well, it's in order to enhance their savings and to provide increased flexibility down the road. You could plan your education savings goals around expected costs, but we all know that the unexpected might occur. For example, your child who spoke most of their uh, high school life about becoming a teacher might decide last minute that they actually want to go to school for medicine and become a doctor at you know three times the tuition costs. Or we might find out that the child is attending a university program and wants to switch majors midway through, which would require additional years of funding. Another scenario we see sometimes is that a student might be attending college but later go on to complete a university degree. All of these scenarios could result in requiring extra funding or additional years of funding. If you plan for average education costs, but then the costs wind up being a lot more, you'll need to pull money from additional savings vehicles in order to cover the shortfall. There are several options available to you in order to save for post-secondary education expenses. RESPs or registered education savings plans are of course the primary way that a lot of parents or grandparents will save for post-secondary education. The RESP allows you to contribute a lifetime maximum of $50,000 and we know that there is government grant money available. So for example, if you put in $2,500 a year into an RESP, you will receive 20% back from the government or another $500 up to a maximum of $7,200. So of course the government grant money you receive represents a 20% return on investment right away. Because of this 20% grant, we often recommend that parents or grandparents start their education savings with an RESP. The TFSA or tax-free savings account is another investment vehicle that you can use to save for a child's post-secondary education. Education. With the TFSA, you can use your own contribution room to save for a child's post-secondary education. Unlike an RESP, where withdrawals can be taxable to the child, um, or there's limits to how much you can take out, the TFSA you can take out any amount, and of course it won't be taxable. An in-trust account, also known as an informal trust or an ITF account, can be set up quite easily by a parent or grandparent for the benefit of a minor child. Typically, we like to see ITF accounts invested in equities as the capital gains are taxable to the child who probably has little or no income and so the tax implications are quite little. Keep in mind though with this strategy you will need to file a T3 return for any income generated in the trust. Also be aware that because this is a trust account technically the assets do belong to the minor child when they become age of majority. In trust accounts with investment earnings taxable to a minor are not available to Quebec residents. A final option that we sometimes recommend to parents or grandparents looking to really boost their education savings is simply to open up a non-registered account. Often we will recommend that the lower income earning parent or grandparent opens up the account. They can invest in assets within the non-registered account. Yes, there will be tax implications for this, but again, if it's the lower income earner that has opened up this account, the tax implications could be minimized. And that's it for today's video. If you're interested in learning more, our team at Ferguson Financial Planning would be pleased to help, and you can schedule a consultation with us using the link below in the description. Additionally, if you like this video, be sure to check out our website where we post more information like this. And again, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe.